I love laser projects and there's so many things that we can laser cut and laser engrave and in today's video I'd like to share with you how we can laser acrylic sheets. Having a laser engraver really does open up a whole world of opportunity for so many bespoke and personalised items and I really do love mine. So in this video I'm going to use some acrylic sheet and make some projects. Do stay with me till the end and I'll share with you some of my tips and tricks to hopefully save you a bit of time during your projects. I have a range of colours and thicknesses of acrylic sheet. As you can see here, some of them Perspex. Perspex is the brand name and it's a good quality brand and so I'm going to test out some of these today. I started off with this pink acrylic sheet and did some tests on it. I actually found it was easier to peel off the film first and then work on it, but I did leave the backing in place. To create your shapes you can use the software Lightburn. I don't have this but I do have Adobe Illustrator. So here I'm using Illustrator to create some simple designs. Most lasers also come with some free software and you can get started really easy by using this as well. So here I've imported my Illustrator vector files into the free software and sent it to the laser. I had to play around with the settings till I was happy that this pink sheet of acrylic would cut successfully and then I set this and cut out some lovely shapes. I'm cutting this in the garage with full ventilation. And even though not perfect, I'm really happy with the shapes that I've cut out of this. I'm going to use some of these acrylic shapes for key rings and pin badges. These can then be laser engraved and personalised as you wish. It's very satisfying to have these shapes cut out of the acrylic like this and to be able to peel off that backing to reveal a lovely shiny acrylic. If you want to get started on your laser engraver even quicker and don't want to use any fancy software, you can use a JPEG of any image of your choice. I have created this image but you can find similar images on the internet. Save as a JPEG and then I'm simply importing it into my free software. In this software the JPEG will engrave. I'm resizing it to my desired size. And then I can click outline and this will outline my item which I can use as the cut line. Go over and click cut and then we can change our parameters, the power and the speed and the number of passes. I will talk about this more later. I resized just a little bit more, added some holes and then I sent it to the laser. As you can see this project is predicted to take 14 minutes. I love how this has turned out and I'm going to turn it into a really cute original necklace. I got my acrylic sheet from The Plastic People where they do a wide range of acrylic. I've put a link in the description below the video so please do go and take a look. You can order the acrylic to whatever size you wish so if you do head over make sure you mention Sarah from YouTube. I'm going to experiment by adding some cord or some chain to these to make some lovely necklaces. These are all just little projects that I'm creating for myself for now. And I do hope that this video gives you some inspiration. If there are any rough edges, you can take a little bit of sandpaper and smooth the acrylic over. For this keychain fob, I just used the add text function and added a name in, changed the font, and then I did the outline again and I could create this. Really simple and easy to create. Here I have my favourite bee that I have from lots of my other projects here on YouTube. I use the same idea as before and I've created these cute little cake toppers. You can just imagine all the cute and personalised items you could create with this. Just like this fox that I've also designed. He has big cut out eyes so that you can store your earphones in them and then wrap the cord around his body. It would be great to do a design for some airpods as well. You can see me here changing the parameters and I'm going to talk about that in a moment. In some orange acrylic, isn't he rather cute? And you can engrave some detail on as well. Here you can see the grey acrylic has cut and engraved really well. As I'm doing these designs I can't wait to do so many more as it really is a lot of fun. I wanted to design and cut some more pin badges out of acrylic and so I designed this cute little dog 
Cut some different colours and then with some strong glue or some resin I will add the pin backs to them. You can do absolutely any designs of your choice and you can get so many out of a sheet. I'm going to make some really cute gifts out of these for friends. Over here in Illustrator I'm creating another pin badge and so that, that design is going to be engraved onto the pins and you can see the lovely detailed engraving that this can create. Again I could click outline and cut this shape out. As I was carrying out the laser projects the thing that I found the most surprising was the differences between the different materials. I played around with the different powers and speeds and I came up with the best parameters for each of the sheets. So I devised a little template that I could run on each new sheet of acrylic and test out its properties and work out which was best for that sheet. This grey acrylic is much easier to cut than the lilac one. After those first projects of playing around with the laser, I found that 100% power and 2mm per second on the speed was what worked well and then it was the number of passes that it took to get through the acrylic. So I set this little template up which was really easy to do and also did some engrave settings too and put it to test to see how it worked on this red acrylic. So if one set of parameters works on one acrylic sheet, don't expect it to work on the next acrylic sheet. So here I'm testing the next one and I did a range like this to see how they worked. If you keep these with your acrylic sheet you'll know what settings to use next time. And so with that pink one it took four passes. So if you create yourself one of these hopefully it will help you out. Things do occasionally go wrong like they have for these and I'll talk more about that later. But basically you have chance to change the power, the speed and the number of times that the laser works. The white one didn't work at all, neither did the blue, and the lilac one took about 14 passes to cut that hole. When you burn through acrylic on the laser it does give out lots of fumes so make sure you wear a mask, the goggles and gloves. So make sure you do protect yourself. Make sure you work in a well ventilated area and use an extractor fan if you can also. So please do keep safe. If in doubt, don't do it. Here I have some transparent acrylic and I couldn't cut this no matter all the little tricks that I tried. So if you do have any tips please let me know but I think all of the other projects were a real success and I do hope you give some of them a go. Laser engraving and laser cutting has become really popular lately and laser engravers are much easier to get hold of now and the price of them is coming down. So they are becoming a tool that we can use and we can craft with and we can make a little business out of and create lots of personalised items. The way I've decided to do it for now is cut out lots of generic shapes and lots of my different designs and have these in stock ready to personalise. My laser pecker actually engraves really quickly so I've chosen this to do the engraving onto these. The Xtool D1 will do this job really well as well, it just takes a little bit longer on this 10 watt diode laser whereas this laser pecker is much quicker. This one works in a slightly different way using mirrors and I absolutely love it. Here I'm experimenting leaving the backing in place so that I can then colour inside the engraving. So I leave the backing and spray some spray paint over the top so that then I can peel to reveal the sprayed image there. This seemed to work really well, I was just concerned about the backing burning onto the engraving. You can create so many different designs and come up with loads of wonderful ideas, all these being little key tags and key rings. You just simply get the hardware and you can clip them into place. I did encounter lots of little problems along the way so I'd like to share these with you so that it hopefully saves you some time. I created some vector images to begin with, with too many vector lines in one place so it melted and made a bit of a mess. This is how it looks when the power gets too high and you just end up melting the acrylic and the design. So start simple to begin with and use clean vector images. It sounds simple but make sure you set the level of the laser to the correct height and you can do this by a little bar that easily moves down and positions the correct position for the laser and it's slightly different on different machines but there's always a way to work it out. 
For this piece of acrylic I forgot to change the height so it just didn't quite cut properly. When the acrylic's on the cutting bed you don't want to be too close to it because of the fumes but if you are just be careful not to nudge it as this is what can happen otherwise you get a bit of distortion. So it's good to make a note of these things as while you cut and you keep changing the material I find that I keep missing these things and so I need to make a mental note as it works really well the engraving when you get it like this. I got two blocks of wood either side so I could put my acrylic up on a level. This allowed it to not burn and get too hot underneath. Any other tips you have please do comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next creative video. Bye for now.